hey everyone, I hope you all are doing great and staying safe in these hard times. Today in this tutorial we will be learning about how to create that voice from phone effect in Premiere Pro. Before we begin please make sure to hit the like and subscribe button for more amazing tutorials like this. Without any further ado let's get started. Create a new project. I will name it as phone voice. Click create. We will bring our audio file directly onto our sequence panel to create a new sequence. Let's play it. And that, that whole thing of just being able to say, like, so to answer your question, to me, uh, starting up again is off the table. I feel I've done all I could with that character. Here we have this normal voice audio. We will change this voice from normal to a voice coming from a phone. As I said it's super easy and can be done in a minute. Go to effects panel and type in equalizer. Take this parametric equalizer and place it on our audio layer. Now go to effects control. Here we have our equalizer effect. Now click on this edit button. This is the equalizer window. You can edit your audio however you want with this tool. We are going to create our effect using this graph. Here you can see the Hertz value. It starts from 0 to 20,000 and above. In the order of left to right. This order helps us to differentiate the various dynamics in the audio. In the right. We have our decibel reading. You can increase the overall audio volume by adjusting the gain. Now let's start creating our effect. Here you can see this HP button on the left and LP button on the right. This HP is known as high pass. High pass represents the lower frequency, such as background noise in the audio. Any sound that is recorded in low volume will be in lower hertz. By removing the lower frequency, we can remove the unwanted background noises. The LP is called low pass. The low pass represents the higher frequency. The LP is basically the main vocal or the sound that recorded loudly. The louder the sound the higher the frequency will be. To get that phone voice effect, we will remove both the higher and lower frequency. We will bring the high pass outside of the 100 Hz frequency. We will also bring the low pass below the 20,000 Hz. For the sake of this tutorial, I will change the decibel of this audio from 30 to 90. You can leave it at 30 decibel, it won't change anything. Click on the HP to get the high pass pointer. Now we have this high pass pointer on our graph. Now click drag the HP pointer outside of the 100 Hz. As you see, now our high pass is outside of the 100 Hz. By doing this we eliminated the sound that are lower in volume. Now click on the LP and bring the LP pointer below the 20,000 Hz. Now that looks perfect. We now eliminated both the higher and lower frequency. Now just bring this fourth pointer above 20 plus decibel. This will give us that authentic phone voice effect. Now let's play it and see the magic. And that, that whole thing of just being able to say, like, so to answer your question, to me, uh, starting up again is off the table. I feel I've done all I could with that character. There. We now created our phone voice effect and it's super good. Let's see the before and after. And that, that whole thing of just being able to say, like, so to answer your question, to me, uh, starting up again is off the table. I feel I've done all I could with that character. Just like that, in just few clicks we now created our phone voice effect in Premiere Pro. 
If you want to add this effect to different audios, just right click on the parametric equalizer and click copy. Select the audio files you want the effect to be in, and press Ctrl V to paste it. You can adjust the equalizer to change it individually as you like. And that, that whole thing of just being able to say, like, so to answer your question, to me, uh, starting up again is off the table. I feel I've done all I could with that character. We are finally at the end of our tutorial. I hope you learned something from this tutorial. Please keep supporting me and I will make more amazing tutorials like this. You can support me on Patreon and get all of my tutorial project files with source files included. Link is in the description. Kindly, subscribe, like and share for more tutorials. See you on the next video and stay happy. Thank you.